Hello, my name is Samuel E. Wright, and you are watching MadamNoir.com. What did I think when Disney approached me to play the role of a Caribbean crab? Well, that's an interesting story because they didn't tell me I was playing a Caribbean crab. Uh, I was told that I was, they were looking for a Sammy Davis Jr. type of character, a lot of energy. You know, I was going to do and go in and do Sammy, you know, <laughs> but that, a lot of energy. And, and that's all I knew. That's all I knew. I had no idea that it was for The Little Mermaid. I flipped out. That's what I thought when I found out when it was about. I flipped out because I always wanted to work for Disney. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to. I used to paint uh, Disney characters on, on, on window pane glass and mail it to Disney. I'm sure they, why is the kid sending us broken glass <laughs> with paint all over it? But I always wanted to work for Disney and I got my chance. It was like a dream come true, it really was. Yes, I'm actually a fan of, of, of all of the Disney movies. I'm, I'm, I, I, I utilize that in, in, in my craft because I think uh, Disney movies are crafted so well that they can be studied as well as uh, film can be studied. No, it usually what people do is they, they hear it in my voice. They can hear him in my voice, because he is me, you see. He's not like a made up character. He is me, so they hear it in my voice. And when they hear that one, they say, are you the guy that plays Sebastian the Crab? Because you look like him. And I do, I do, because Disney, when they do, when they do an animated film, they, they film you doing it, doing the work, just like we're doing now, and then they go away and then they draw what's there. So they kind of morph your expressions onto the drawing, which is why it's such a classic piece of work because your work goes into the actual animation. My most favorite moment was when after years of filming it and, and being very strict to animation because you have to be strict with animation because it's timing and picture and, and, and that kind of thing. And I was really strict with it. And, but I kept doing things. I'd be naughty and I'd do something. And they'd say, Sam, you can't do that. This is not Robin Williams. You cannot do that. You can't make up little jokes on the side. So I, okay. About a year after we finished completing the film, they called me up and they said, Sam, we're gonna fly you out here, okay? I said, why? I thought we were finished. They said, all of those things we told you you couldn't do in the beginning, you got three hours to do all of them. So they brought me in the studio and they just turned the mic on and I went nuts. I just said anything I wanted to say like Sebastian, I talked like him for three hours and some of it found its way into the movie. For example, teenagers, they think they know everything. Give them an inch, they swim all over you. That was something I just made up, so I, you know what I mean? So that, it was a lot of fun. Um, I've done one other voice. Uh, I did Cron in Dinosaur, in the Disney movie Dinosaur. Um, but I'm not a voiceover actor. I, I, I do Sebastian because Sebastian is a part of me, but I can't sit there and make up a voice for you. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I can't just like, come up with Jimmy the Cricket or, or something like that. I, I can't do that. So I don't think in terms of them hiring me again for another thing because I, I'm so, I, my voice is so iconically Sebastian now. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for? And that's it. Ha, 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 ha.